Greetings from Vancouver, Washington. Um, a mere two minutes, I think two minutes, maybe three minutes walk south from the hotel is what's called the Veterans of Foreign Wars Memorial Park. And it's a bunch of murals from World War I up to the current war. Let me switch the view around so you can see what's going on here. Let me switch it real quick. So we're here at the Memorial Park. There is a plaque here for this label from the Veterans of Foreign Wars Memorial Park. And this is dedicated September 20th, 2013 to the members of our military who since the birth of our nation have fought in foreign wars to protect our nation, our people, our belief that all human beings have the right to live in freedom. Let us never forget the service dogs that accompanied our troops in those conflicts. This is Contributors, VFW Post 7824, the City of Vancouver, Chief Warrant Officer Roy H. Billings, United States Army Retired. We're going to go ahead and take a walk down here. It's a little windy, maybe a little traffic, but you can see the wall right here. It starts with the Uncle Sam posters, then it goes to World War I. It's kind of in an industrial area, so there's going to be a lot of airplane noise and traffic, and I apologize for that. But let me move around to the wall. I'll give you a quick view of what's going on here. Like I said, it's about a two, three minute walk south of the hotel. Easy walk, too. And you can see the mural itself. The mural looks to be about oh, 200, 300 feet long. And it's dedicated to the various uh, people who fought in the wars. I'm just gonna walk down here to the other end. All branches of the service. Now we're getting towards the end of World War II, moving to Korea. Then after the Korean uh, 38 parallel wall, you'll see the Vietnam era wall, followed by the Gulf War, and then the end. It's a pretty short walk and here as you come by, I gotta excuse the noise here, we got a train coming by, but I thought it's worth showing you this wall if you're coming by here to the convention. And look at the sign, I don't know if you can hear me a little bit, but on the memorial wall, look at the number of people who signed here. They got names, here's one, Henry Older, 1942-1946. But come on by this wall, take a visit. Perhaps bring your marker and write down the name of a loved one. It's going from Desert Storm, World War I. It gets faded towards the end, but there's plenty of room on the wall to make an annotation. I'm going to swing back. And we'll go down the wall on this side. Take a walk down the wall, hold here. And if you gotta excuse the train noise, I'm gonna tilt the camera just a little bit here. There we go. So you can see what it looks like going the opposite direction. Yep, here we go. It's well maintained, well kept. Just this, it's in the city, so we got a plane coming up overhead pretty soon, so we're gonna hear the plane along with the train and the car traffic, so you gotta bear with that. But other than that, it's a fantastic tribute to our veterans and our soldiers. And as we get to the end of the wall, they have a flagpole, the U.S. flag, and the POW flag. Almost there. Almost. 
and we're at the end. You can see the flags flying in the air off to the right, or correction, to off to the left. So come on by. Sometime during the convention, again, it's about a two minute walk, three minute walk at the most, south of the, of the convention hall. So worth the stop by scene and bring your marker. Signing off.